Hi guys, thank you so much for talking to Teddy TV today. Um, I believe that this is the first time that you worked with Isabel and I was wondering how you found that experience and was it important for you both that it was a female director behind this project? Um, I'm going to speak in Spanish. Okay. Uh, I think it's super, that it's very important that there are female voices eh, contando historias desde nuestro punto de vista y historias como Elisa y Marcela. Hemos visto muchísimas historias sobre eh, mujeres lesbianas, sobre relaciones, pero siempre como con un punto de vista muy masculino. Y creo que esta película eh, tiene un sello especial porque está Isabel detrás y porque hay una mirada femenina con, con mucha conciencia de género y, y, de, y, de, y feminista. Y ha sido un placer trabajar con ella, es una mujer súper talentosa y es increíble que haya tardado 10 años en poder rodar esta película. Con el talento que tiene y la carrera que lleva. Es increíble. Well, I think it's really important to see films from the point of view of female directors, to show their voices, uh, to show films from our point of view, especially stories like Elisa, like that of Elisa and Marcela. Um, uh, because we've seen many stories of lesbian women but always from a masculine point of view and with this film you can see Isabel seal um, her, her imprint um, with uh, because she, obviously because she's a feminist and you see that in in the film and it's incredible that it's taken her 10 years to show this story. And Greta, do you have anything you wanted to add? Mm. I think well, I, I agree with all of with all of Natalia's point of view. So, but yeah, I, I actually like. I think I, I have. It's my first movie as a as the main character. But I've always worked with most of the times with with girls directors. So, really? so the experience. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been lucky in that. Well, sorry, but like, <laughs> I had that experience at least, and I I, I really like working with girls. There's there's something there's yeah there's something different and and with the for this story I think it was important that it was a, that it was a girl and if and if it's a Sabel Cochet it's even better. So. And I heard that you guys wrote the the letters the sort of love letters between the two women. Is that right that you wrote them yeah, yourselves? Yeah, it was actually an exercise. We didn't know it, they were, she was no. going to use that for the film. When we were like rehearsing, she said like let's write a letter to each other, a love letter. So we did, and we read it to each other, mm, and Isabel a cries a lot. cried a lot, <laughs> and, <laughs> and she <laughs> said, we're going to put the, the in letters the in the film, and you're going to read them. And did you find it difficult to get into the voice of the characters writing, because you're obviously used to no, seeing a no, script? No, 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 I think um, this, uh, this <coughs> situation was uh, the... The point, no, I'm going to speak in Spanish. That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> Yo creo que gracias a, a, a esta situación que de escribir las cartas, eh, descubrimos, tanto Greta como yo, como Isabel, que teníamos muchísimo más interiorizado el personaje de lo que, de lo que pensábamos. Y que y gracias a, a este ensayo, yo me, no me costó, fue como una manera de, de conectar Con, con Elisa y, y con Marcela. And Natalia, your character you have to kind of play um, you have to play multiple gender roles. Mm -hmm. uh, I wondered how you found shifting between those gender roles. How? Sí. ¿Qué te pareció el tener que estar cambiando? Ah, de... Bueno, it was crazy because we shoot the movie in four weeks. So, <laughs> in one day, I change. Uh, I you change changed a lot. I Elisa, I am. Um, Mario. So it was crazy, and the rhythm was so fast that I didn't have time to develop uh, insecurities <laughs> because they were so so hmm. fast, and. Eh, lo, tampoco es resultó muy difícil porque realmente ella no, no es una no es transgénero ella simplemente está intentando poder vivir el amor con, con, con su pareja y encuentran esa manera para poder eh, entrar dentro de los cánones de, de la sociedad pero vamos 
a los tres días bueno, la gente ya sabía que, que era Elisa, pero vestida como un hombre, no había ningún tipo de duda. She says it wasn't hard because Elisa wasn't transgender. Um, she wanted to live life, she, uh, the life with her love, with her partner, and she just had to find a way to fit in society. But I mean, after a couple of days, it was already discovered, so there was no doubt really. Okay, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thanks to you. Thank you.